Hi everyone, this is Michelle, the Crazy Homemaker, and we're going to do a little bit of talking about um, some dowsing stuff today. Uh, a friend of mine had gone and taken a course in which included a talk about sacred geometry, and she was totally confused by it. It, it is something I don't fully understand myself, but I'm going to tell you about the way I see it. Okay, um, I see it as, um, of course, you know, these kind of images that you see, these are sacred geometry, everybody's telling you, sacred geometry, okay, that's fine, and you see how they're made, and also, this is the flower of life, which looks like the sacred geometry ones, which it is. Um, I use this an awful lot um, in my um, when I work on people and such. And what I like to um, say is that you see the pattern was repeating on all of them. And if you look at this, this is a picture of a fractal of sacred geometry. Uh, I, I don't know which what it is. It's probably the flower of life. But a fractal is something that is mathematically um, repeating. And when it mathematically repeats, it repeats a certain section over and over and over and over and over again. And that is what you're seeing here with the flower of life. And that's what you're seeing with all these little doodads, which everyone's calling sacred geometry. Of course, they each have their own special name. Um, the one I worry about is the flower of life, mostly. And what I'd like to say is they're nothing more than, in my opinion, building blocks. If there's part of you which is ill or not working or sluggish or whatever. I have on, of course, on my little um, chart here, I have sacred geometry written in there. Um, you might want to see if that comes up in your chart or you can just ask straight out, uh, do I have broken sacred geometry? And if you get a yes, then work to fix it. Um, if you get a hit on the, the chart that says it is sacred geometry, but it's not broken, ask if it's corrupted. It could have something attached to it. It could have um, a noise, you know, a frequency or something within there that needs to be removed. So every time you ask a question, you'll get a yes or no, and you can whittle it down as to what exactly is wrong with your sacred geometry. And then you can work to fix that. And um, all, more or less, I use my pendulum to show me when, what, how the work is being done. For me, left and right um, is no, forward and back is yes. Round to the left means something's being taken out. Round to the right means something's being put in. And whenever it dead stops, that means the work is done. So I always just ask to bless, balance, and repair the sacred geometry either within a certain area, within your complete being, throughout all lifetimes, all dimensions, all physical and energetic layers, all spaces and places known and unknown from now on and into the future or forever. So that kind of covers all of the places where sacred geometry could be broken or corrupted or however you, you want to see it. And that is just a short t take from me as to how I see sacred geometry. If your whole body and around you has all this repeatable sacred geometry with um, like in fractals around you and they need to be repaired, they need to be made sure that they're healthy for you, working for you. Um, you can also check to see if the sacred geometry is spinning in the correct direction. Is the energy flow from the sacred geometry going in the correct direction? 
and if not, ask for that direction to be uh, healed, um, to um, turn into the correct direction, and then check to see. Um, first off, use your pendulum. Is if how is this sacred geometry flowing? If it goes circles to the left or a no, that means that it there's it's going in the wrong direction. And then after you ask for it to be healed or repaired or whatever, then it goes to the um, makes a yes or no spin or yes or no movement or a right hand spin, then you know that it's going in the correct direction. So I hope maybe this helps you a little bit and gives you my insight of how oversimplified I see sacred geometry. Uh, I get a lot of hits on it um, whenever I do some work and I, I do a lot of questioning and you know, yes and no questions will take you to where you need to go. So have a great day. Enjoy your um, Halloween holiday. If you celebrate that with your kids, grandkids, neighbors, whoever, and just live in peace. Take care.